case in the segment of basic soap probabilities. <coughs> a bag contains 20 tickets marked with 1 to 20. That means on each ticket a number out of 1 to 20 has been written or printed. So there are 20 tickets. One ticket is drawn at random out of these 20. Find the probability that it will be a multiple of 2 or 5. And number 2 it will be a multiple of 3 or 5. Let us take the first case. What is the probability that the number written on the ticket drawn is multiple of 2 or 5. So first of all the important thing is how many multiples of 2 are there in 1 to 20. So total 20 divided by this 2. So there are 10 multiples of 2 within 1 to 20. So these 10 are the num favorable number of cases for the event the number being multiple of 2. Let us say it is A. So case is favorable to A is 10 that is number of multiples of 2. Similarly number of multiples of 5 let us take it as event B. The favorable cases will be 20 total number of tickets divided by 5. So it comes to Four. But the important thing is there can be some common values in this 10 as well as 4. They are the number which can be classified as multiple of 2 and 5. So the sign will be A intersection B because both the events happen simultaneously. That is joint event. Multiples of 2 and 5. How many are the multiples of 2 and 5? So they are 10 and 20. <coughs> so we can now say that there are 2 multiples of 10 and 20. Okay, which 2? 10 and 20. So the number of favorable cases are 2. So now we can say that P of A is favorable case is 10, total number of case is 20. That is actually 10 C1. If the ticket comes out of this 10, 10 C1, 10 and 20 C1, 20. So P of A comes to 10 by 20. Similarly, P of B will be 4 C1 if B is. Even B can happen only if the ticket comes out of this 4. Upon 20 C1, that is 4 by 20. <coughs> and similarly, probability of A intersection B is 2 C1 upon 20 C1, that is 2 by 20. So ultimately, the event that the number on the ticket drawn is multiple of 2 or 5 is case of union. Probability of multiple of 2 or 5 is P of A union B. Since the simultaneous happening or joint event is possible, we have to use the general law of addition of probabilities. So it will be P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. That is 10 by 20 plus 4 by 20 minus 2 by 20. 10 plus 4, 14 minus 2, 12. So it comes to 12 by 20 or 6 by 10 or 3 by 5 or 0.6. The second case is almost similar. Only the change of values or numbers is there. What is the probability that the number on the ticket drawn is multiple of 3 or 5? How many are the multiples of 3 out of these 20 values? There are 20 by 3. 6.67 only integer. So there are 6 values which can be classified as multiple of 3 out of 1 to 20. 1 that is 3, 2 that is 6, 3 that is 9, 4 that is 12, 5 that is 15 and 6 that is 18 because 21 is not there. So, in this way, we have to consider the integer only. There are 6. Ignore the decimal values. Multiples of 5, as we know that they are 20 by 5, 4. 
मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री एंड फाइव मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री एंड फाइव हाउ मेनी आर द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री एंड फाइव इज देर एनी अदर वैल्यू वन इज फिफ्टीन इज देर एनी अदर वैल्यू नो देर इज नो अदर वैल्यू सो नाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट पी ऑफ एक्स दट इज सिक्स सी वन इफ द टिकट कम्स आउट ऑफ दिस सिक्स देन ओनली दिस कैन हैपन ट्वेंटी सी वन सो इट इज सिक्स बाई ट्वेंटी P of y that can happen only if the ticket comes out of this four. Four C one upon twenty C one that is four by twenty. And P of x intersection y can happen only if this ticket, the number having fifteen on it, is drawn. So it is one C one upon twenty C one. Only one favorable case. So it is one by twenty. now again probability of number on the ticket being multiple of 3 or 5 is nothing but the case of union of x and y again the intersection of x and y is possible we have to use the general law of addition of probabilities that is p of x plus p of y minus p of x intersection y p of x is 6 by 20 plus p of y is 4 by 20 Minus x intersection p of x intersection y is one by twenty six plus four that is ten minus one is nine so it comes to nine by twenty or point four five this is almost something say one kind of revision of the first case that's it thank you very much.